What's going on, family? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Gamecock News update. And today, I am talking simply about this. Could a coach start for the South Carolina Gamecocks? Before I go any further, yes, you heard me, coach. Before I go any further, here's what I need you to do. One of three things. One, like the video. All you gotta do is like the video. If you like the content, like the video. It's only take two seconds. Start the video right now. Like the video. Two, subscribe to the channel. About seventy percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So if you want to help your boy, your man's, get to five k subs by the end of the year, subscribe to the channel. Hit notification bell. Notification bell. I know every time I drop a video and share the video. Help out as well. So I come with this question because uh, Zeb Nolan. He was the graduate assistant from Iowa State. I believe he played at Dakota, North Dakota State. And he thought his football career was over. But since Luke Doty was injured, Shane Beamer asked to, instead of uh, holding the clipboard as a coach, he needs to hold the clipboard as a quarterback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a few Articles And I'm going to talk about this Man So this is Athens Beaner Herald That I'm reading from It says Coney County football coach Trevor Nolan Got a call from his son Zeb Asking his father To come to South Carolina's Scrimmage game last week Zeb Who joined the game class As a graduate assistant in June Needed to run A couple of important questions Past his dad Travis didn't plan to attend the scrimmage, but knew if his son needed to speak to him in person, then it was serious. Zip figured out his college career was done after starting seven games for the North Dakota State in the spring during his fifth season eligibility. He joined the Gamecocks with plans to become a coaching career. Then two weeks ago, his t- intentions were altered by first-year South Carolina Gamecocks coach Shane Beamer and injuries to the quarterback room. Nola, who played for Travis at Oconee County, had six years of eligibility remaining on his NCAA, granted an extra season to athletes due to COVID-19. Beamer turned his up to ask if he could suit up to provide death. Shocked by the opportunity, Zeb needed time. He needed to talk to Travis. And we're going to start right there. Because, man, this is a very interesting situation. Um, last year, if you guys remember, we had a transfer come in from Colorado State, Colin Hill. Where's Colin at? Nobody knows. But uh, Colin Hill came in. He was supposed to be Mike Bobo's guy. And they went from him to Luke Doty, skipped over Ryan Halitsky. Is it possible, can a coach that comes – Straight from the coaching staff, he was he was getting into becoming a college level coach. He was a grad assistant. He still has a year of eligibility. He played college football last year, but he was a coach. What what did I think about this? I wouldn't say no, but at the same time, is a reason why he wanted to be a coach. You know, like a lot of people's like, uh, I was listening to the Gamecock Central show uh, with Wes Mitchell and them, the boys, and they made a point about, well, if it doesn't matter if Shane went to five points and picked out a guy and said, we need you Sunday, Saturday, Saturday evening to play a game. If he can play, if he can help the team win, then he should win. Yeah, I understand that. And I understand that we need to get some momentum. Winning only four games two years ago, winning two games last year. But this guy was a graduate assistant coach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that he, and it has been talked that he's rising up the depth chart. This guy came from thin air, to be honest with you. Yeah, he was in the building. Yeah, he played quarterback. Yeah, he, he wanted to be a coach. But he, he literally came from thin air. And now, he may be in competition to start at quarterback. I, I, hey, 
as long as he can get us the best chance to win, I don't know and I don't care. If you look at Steve Spurrier, Steve Spurrier wasn't uh, fond of keeping a quarterback long. Also, made you know some type of uh, some type of calls at quarterback. He was like, I don't know. But Zeb, do y'all think that he should start or has a chance to start at South Carolina? Former coach, suiting up. Even though he played college football last year, do you think that he can suit up and play? This dude been playing college football for six years. <laughs> He's been playing college football for six years. No, I don't think so. But let me know what you think about the comment section below. Get us the entertainer, the motivator, the educator. And please, don't forget all three. Lucky Murray Pep, another gay cot news update. And yes, uh, we may have a graduate assistant coach suit up and start against Eastern Illinois. I think it still should be Jason Brown. But hey, I'm just a guy behind the camera. Or behind the microphone. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But like always, <gasps> until next time, people.